Karen Dostras here from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, and she's got a delicious recipe for us too. Always That's great right. to see Good you. Good to see you too, Amy. Lots of apples to yes. work with this time of year. Apple season, as well as cheese, goes great with apples. You mentioned apple pie and cheese. That's kind of a you know a, a standard. Well, we have another dessert here that actually uses apples and cream cheese and made with a buttery cream, creamy uh, caramel sauce that goes mm. with it. So it's a really great dessert. Really I was fun. thinking the kids would like this. It's an apple, caramel apple pizza. Right, so, uh, right. It's fun. If you're having a pizza party, maybe you can stick with the theme and, you know, mm -hmm. make it all pizzas. But this is just a fun, you know, fall dessert. Kind of so. semi-homemade as well. And we're actually, uh, we're going to use two apples. And okay. um, I'll let you slice up another one. I, I've actually cut up one already. That's a honey crisp, which are nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. And just to contrast the colors, I, I have a Granny Smith there as well. Okay. So you don't peel them and you mix them in kind of a lemon um, juice water mixture to keep that from browning okay. because you're not baking this, that okay. part of it anyways. Oh, so they'll go on fresh. That's correct. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is take a pizza pan and I'm using a sugar cookie dough. Okay. Kind of comes in the big roll. Sure. And we're going to bake that. We're going to make a great big sugar cookie. So that's what I see you, I there. noticed you've got parchment paper down. Yes, that's going to really help it from uh, sticking and make it a lot easier to lift off uh, later. Okay. Into slices, right. I guess, when you're serving. So you're okay. going to take this and press it into, on the parchment paper, about a, a 10 inch circle. And if you've let it sit out for a little while, it makes it a lot easier. And make sure your oven's set at 350, and okay. you're going to bake it for about 15 minutes or so until it you know, has kind of a golden brown. Looks like a sugar cookie, but it's just bigger. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. So we've just got our sliced nice, apples. Right, and the apples are in there. I okay, like the so idea after of using, this is baked, yep. um, and, and then you have a nice, beautiful sugar cookie that's all ready. Yeah. You want to let that cool before you prepare the rest okay. of the pizza. So we've got the apples, the red and the green, and um, lemon juice and water to right. keep them from browning, because like you say, we're not going to cook these. And just set those aside, okay? okay. Uh, then we're also going to make a, a couple other parts here, a caramel sauce. Okay. I'll show you how we make that. You want to make sure you have a candy thermometer. Okay. We're going to use um, about three quarter cup of butter and add to that one and a half cups of brown sugar that's packed about a tablespoon of lemon juice, some corn syrup, a couple tablespoons of that. And it all goes in at once, Karen? Yes, you're okay. going to bring that to um, a boil. Okay. All right. And then you're going to add, once it does boil, you're going to add about three quarter cup of uh, whipping cream. Okay. okay. Uh, and then what you want, the reason you have this candy thermometer, uh, this is how you make a great caramel sauce to be used for lots of desserts. You want to get, get it to the soft ball stage, about 234, 240 degrees. Okay. Okay, so that will take you maybe about, I don't know, five, ten minutes, it just depends on, you need to watch the thermometer there. Okay, Okay, right. so that's how you do it, and in the end, you have this beautiful caramel sauce mm. that you're going to drizzle over, and I'll tell you the butter really makes a big difference. Yeah. So I'm going to keep this just a little bit okay. cuz and the nice part about this is you say it makes a big batch but mm -hmm. uh, you can store it for yeah, ice cream. You can cream store it. Or yes, for other things. Too. Okay, so Absolutely. you can go ahead and start putting that together. Okay. And then we're going to add, make our uh, actually cream cheese uh, sauce. Okay. I want to call it that. So I have uh, some brown sugar in another cup, some cream cheese blocks that have been softened. How many cream cheese blocks? Two. Two salt, mm -hmm. two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. Right, a cup of brown sugar. And then this is really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then about a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Okay. Add that too. There you go. That stuff's strong. So yeah. And mm -hmm. if you don't like that, because um, some people just don't like that, what about vanilla? Vanilla would probably work just fine with that. Okay. And then this is going to be spread on top of the pizza, like this, because that's been cooled. I was thinking this would be a really fun game day dessert with the Packers game and just doing something different. Yeah, it absolutely would. It's fun, and actually the kids can help you with the apples too. Uh, layer it on. So we want to kind of spread this all over. That caramel sauce looks delicious. I'm going to use this instead. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is take the apple. You're going to drain those apples, okay. and then we're going to put them in a fan shape around the the pizza on top of the cream cheese, which is your glue. So that's a real important step, yeah. soaking them in apple juice or in lemon right, juice. Right, because again, it's they're not baked, so you want to make sure they don't brown. Okay, so there we go. And then um, we're just going to go like this. I kind of like to alternate it. It kind of sticks really nicely there. So you can go on the other side there, and I can go over here if you'd like. Sure. So we'll tag team around. it. Yeah, yeah there mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> and what we're going to do then is um, sprinkle it also with some cashews at the end. So this is, you know, cut, cut it into wedges. It makes a real beautiful dessert. 
uh, nice and sweet, but again, that cream cheese, uh, which uh, provides a lot of creaminess as well as um, a slight sweetness. Cream cheese is used as a base for lots of different um, kinds of dips and everything like that. So uh, you don't have to sell me. I love yeah. cream cheese. So. <laughs> yeah. So this is a it goes perfect with this dessert as well. And then we're just going to drizzle this over the top, the caramel syrup. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that. And in Wisconsin, we make lots of cream cheese. Again, it's, it's when you're doing the cheese making process, the cream cheese, the whey and the hot curds separate. The hot curds are pressed immediately by the cheese makers, and that really allows it to be very creamy as well as last a little bit longer. Yum. So there we go. So that's fun. I think, again, the... You know, kids can help you make that as well. This is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And just put as much caramel sauce as you'd like on it. Oh, I'll just keep going then. <laughs> oh, but it does look like you're going to yeah. have some leftovers for ice yeah. cream, which is kind of nice. Exactly. That's a good problem to mm -hmm. have. So there you or go. Just for dipping right into those apples. Karen, thank you so much for you're sharing. Welcome. Now you can get the recipe on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the living tab and it'll be right there. I assume it's also you Yes, know, eatwisconsincheese.com. It's right there on the homepage. You what, can make it tonight. What are we making next time? <laughs> We're going to be making a cheddar cheese apple bread. It's kind of like a banana bread, but with cheddar cheese and apples in there. Kind of a sweet, savory Oh, it sounds bread. good. Nice with a big batch of soup. That sounds like it would be perfect. All right, stick around. We'll be back.